Hey, welcome to another Grill Seekers episode. I'm your host, Mike Pettit. When you're all things New England, you have to think about Boston, Patriots Day, Marathon Monday, the Red Sox. Well, today, we're at McGreevy's Bar and Grill, right on Boylston Street. Now, McGreevy's is home to the Dropkick Murphys. It's food, it's fun, and it's culture. And the fun starts now. Welcome to Grill Seekers. Each week on Grill Seekers, we'll fire up the food, the fun, and we'll seek out the culture. It's Grill Seekers. If you've got flame, we'll travel. Welcome back to Grill Seekers on Marathon Monday at McGreevy's. Here's your host, Mike Pettit. Welcome back to Grill Seekers. We're having a great time here at McGreevy's Bar on Marathon Monday. And with me now is... Danielle DiGiorgio. Danielle, having a great time today? Awesome time. So tell me about McGreevy's. McGreevy's is America's first sports bar. It went way back to the days of the Royal Rooters, which were the original fans of the Red Sox. They went back to a little bar called McGreevy's. So here on 911 Boylston Street in Boston is actually the reopening of the original McGreevy's. So if you look around, you're going to see memorabilia, originals, uh, all over the bar. It, exactly how it was decorated then is um, almost how it's decorated now. It's so basically supposed to be a big replica of the original bar and also the home of the Dropkick Murphys. Home of the Dropkick Murphys, which we love. Which we love. So a uh, great place to be, uh, to see the game, and to hang out in, um, in, in memory of the original. So you are quite knowledgeable on uh, on the McGreevies. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just a customer. I just picked this up along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you're quite knowledgeable. But the, the, the more important question is, are you ready to get grilled? Hell yeah. <laughs> get grilled. Brought to you by Team Grill. Get grilled with Team Grill at TeamGrill.com. In the 2006 movie The Departed, who had the title track? Oh, the Dropkick Murphys. That is correct. Who was the uh, the actor who sat at the bar and uh, and uh, sipped on a cranberry juice and was ridiculed for it? Uh, was it Leonardo DiCaprio? You're good. Very good. Who played the character Frank Costello? Oh, oh, man. Frank Costello. Did I get a hint or something? He's probably one of the greatest actors of all time. One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest. Jack Nicholson? I can't believe it. <laughs> Old Danielle. She's quite a uh, sharp little bird there. She figured it all out all on her own. Let's continue with Get Grilled. Can you believe that? She knew who it was. I need to come to Boston more often. Hey, it's more Marathon Monday here at McGreevy's, and with us now is uh, Mr. Ken Casey. How are we doing, bud? Good, buddy. Thanks for having me on. Great. What a Thanks great for coming to the bar. Great, great time out here. Uh, you know, nothing bigger in New England uh, than Marathon Monday, and uh, what, a, what a sweet spot you got here, right on Boylston Street. You know, it's it's a good spot. The the very uh, we, uh, two years ago we opened on Marathon Monday. And I was watching it on the TV and uh, on the national coverage, you could see the sign plain as day, and I said, we have a good spot here. Yeah, yeah. At least for Marathon Monday. Sure, <laughs> sure, this works. Uh, great food, and uh, it really is kind of, uh, it's, it's all things New England. You've got, uh, you've got your sports theme, you've got, uh, obviously, the Dropkick Murphys tied in. And the nice thing is, as well, is you've uh, uh, championed a new foundation called the Clatter Fund. The Clatter Fund, yeah. We uh, started the Clatter Fund recently. Just, you know, um, the bands had the good fortune of being involved in a lot of local charity work. And we just said, you know, we'd like to kind of spearhead something ourselves, be able to uh, use that to call on our fan base to step up a little and get behind things, which they always do anyway. But, you know, something that we could kind of keep a more streamlined contact with and um, run events and um, we've run some events so far and they've been a success by all accounts and people have enjoyed them you know when a lot of people think fundraising and charity stuff they're thinking you know stuffy dinners and things you don't want to go to but we I wouldn't yeah. think that with the drop yeah, yeah true true so um, you know we, we like to grill and uh, have a good time at our charity events nice know? now so, how can people find out about the Clatter Fund? Uh, on our website which is uh, clatterfund.org c-l-a-d-d-a-g-h FUND.org, and uh, we have all the info you'd ever want on there. That's it's nice, fun. and you do have the uh, the charity golf tournament coming up uh, at the end of the summer, which Bobby Orr will be. Yeah, Bobby Orr is the co-host of the 
first annual Clatter Fund uh, golf tournament, and that alone is like, well, that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll even have Bobby on the grill. Who knows? Well, you know? I think that could, maybe we could have you grill off against Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I like that. If you really want to be all things New England, well, you have to check out the Clatter Fund. And tell us about it one more time, Clint. Where can they go? Uh, Clatterfund.org. The point is all you made.